If you are a foodie or just curious as to what food options await you on your Equinox sailing, this is the video for you. We'll share breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet options, specialty dining, and everything in between. Hang on for food overdrive. Let's go. After we stepped on board, we headed straight for lunch and we chose the Ocean View Cafe, which is the buffet on board Celebrity Equinox. Remember, if you are on a larger ship, whichever cruise line you're cruising, there might be other lunch options if you're not in for a large crowd. The Ocean View Cafe was above average food quality in our opinion. We have sailed many times on Royal Caribbean and most recently again on Norwegian, so you will hear us compare the food on Equinox to those two cruise lines. We'll let you judge how our opinions change throughout our sailing. As you can see, the Celebrity Equinox has a beautiful buffet outdoor seating area, which we chose several times throughout the week. Be sure you head out here first and get a seat as it fills up quickly on a lovely Caribbean cruise. So JJ, do you have a first impression of your Ocean View Embarkation lunch? day lunch? Uh, yes, I do. What, what would that be? On a scale of one to five, I'd give it about a three and a half to four. Oh, right like now. five is the best embarkation lunch ever. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to remember, it's a turnaround day. So. Three and a half to four. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably give it a four. Probably Better a than four. Royal Caribbean? About the same right now today, but I think it's going to get better as we go. Better than Norwegian? No. Not yet. So we have an addendum because you just had dessert. The cheesecake rocks. We just got a little bit of several things. Five out of five. The Silhouette Dining Room is on deck three and four. On our sailing, the fourth deck was for early and late reserved dining, and deck three was for anytime dining. We had early dining, which was 5.30. We sat at the same table each night and had the same wait staff throughout our entire cruise. If you would like more flexibility or you're a little unsure about your dining times each evening, anytime dining might be for you. Celebrity has starters and entrees that change each evening, and then three classics that are available every evening. JJ got the escargot every night it was on the menu. The food was great, but they didn't bring him an escargot fork, which he always gets on Royal Caribbean, so that was a bit surprising to us. I ordered the chilled Thai coconut soup, but I do not like curry, so that did not work out too well. Remember, if you order something and do not like it or it's not prepared correctly, they will always bring you another dish, so do not hesitate to ask. I ended up ordering a Caesar salad, and it was wonderful. Y'all know we give it to you straight here at All Things Wagner. So here is how the rest of the meal went this first evening. The sirloin steak this evening and unfortunately throughout the week was usually overcooked. Our friends did not have good luck with getting it prepared as they ordered it. I ordered the spaghetti bolognese and it was marvelous. JJ ordered the prime rib and also really enjoyed it too. We also had three subscribers and now our friends traveling with us on this cruise and he had the salmon and said it was amazing. The dessert menu also changes every evening and we and our friends enjoyed everything we ordered every night. This first evening our friends ordered the New York cheesecake and said it was perfect. They described it as being more dense than on Royal Caribbean, which they really enjoyed. JJ had the apple pie a la mode, which is actually an entire piece of apple pie, unlike Royal Caribbean, and he was very pleased with that. I ordered the chocolate cake, which was surprisingly milk chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, so I was thrilled. Day two was a port day, so we ate a quick breakfast at the buffet on board and then ate in port at Margaritaville. If you're interested, we'll have videos linked below for both our port days when they're published. We were back in the MDR for dinner. The bread basket was a nice starter, and when we asked our assistant waiter for more of a particular type of bread, she was quick to provide it. For appetizers, JJ had the escargot again, and it was great. He also enjoyed a wedge salad as his second appetizer. Remember, you can order more than one of any course. I had the butternut squash soup, which was amazing. One of our friends had the Caesar salad, and it seems to never fail to satisfy. Unfortunately, the steak disappointed for a second night in a row. Our friend who had the steak and chips described it as, quote, just below average. 
The clear winner of the evening far and away was the braised lamb, which JJ and I both had. On this second evening of our sailing, it was the best cruise meal, including specialty dining at the time, we had ever eaten. Stay tuned to see if the lamb gets replaced as the champion. I am standing outside the Ocean View Cafe outside seating area. This is the buffet on Celebrity Equinox and this is the outside seating area and it is amazing. So don't forget about that as you search for a seat in the buffet. It slowed down a little this morning so I'm going to go show you the breakfast buffet. So hopefully that will help you prepare for your cruise on Celebrity Equinox and I'll let you get ready for breakfast. This section is called poached eggs and more and it literally is <laughs> poached eggs and more. Over here, there are some labels on these foods. Smoked Salmon Eggs Benedict, Classic Eggs Benedict, and Spinach Eggs Benedict. Oatmeal there, they usually have some grits and they're refilling that one. And then all your toppings, if you will, for your toast station, and they will toast it for you. They have bagels and English muffins and regular bread and then all your toppings. This section has smoked salmon, as well as your little cream cheese puffs regular cream cheese and paprika cream cheese. And then you have your toppings along with your whole fruits. And you have your whole fruits on either side of the buffet. This section is labeled fruits, yogurts, and muesli. And you have all your fresh cut, already if you will, cut up fruits and a bunch of toppings like raisins and brown sugar and it looks like maybe sesame seeds and some granola and then all your toppings for your muesli and your muesli with fruit. This is your toast and bread section. These actually are also labeled. You have croissants and chocolate croissants blueberry danish and it looks like maybe apricot danish oat bran muffin and carrot raisin muffin this is an international food section and these are labeled thank goodness because i wouldn't know what anything is it says this is dosa and egg bougie mm. fried rice chicken congi and regular congi and then some toppings there for you and on the end here is what i enjoyed thoroughly is a little b and g as someone called it biscuits and gravy and it notes for you all who have dietary restrictions that it does contain pork this also is labeled as a toast section she will also toast all of these different kind of breads for you if you'd like them warm there's soft roll and then there's toast and english muffins once again and bagels and then this is a like a deli meat section provolone cheese swiss cheese mortadella turkey ham and ham this section i believe is called american breakfast scrambled eggs baked beans little fried potatoes and some mixed roasted vegetables roasted tomatoes and chicken sausage which is actually labeled because they also have pork sausage as well this says that the special of the day is apple kringle so actually these look like they may all be the same thing so this may all be what they're calling apple kringle the English breakfast section has some roasted tomatoes, what they're calling fried bread, baked beans, English bacon, English sausage, and bled sausage. And there is a beverage section on each side that provides hot water and mugs, as well as all kinds of tea bags. If you're wondering what kind of tea bags are on Celebrity Equinox, here you go, as well as all your sweeteners, milk, regular skim and cream, a little bit of honey there, some lemon wedges, you have your ice machine and cold water, as well as your juices, which are orange juice, fruit punch, apple juice, iced tea, and water. Here we go with a little break in the crowd to show you first sea day lunch buffet. The Ocean View Cafe has a bar right up front on one side of the entries. And just remember if you have a package or you're wanting to pay extra for either an alcohol drink or some kind of soda or anything that's extra simply ask one of your waiters here in the ocean view cafe and they can get it for you from the bar you have salad fixings on either side with it looks like a general mix green leaf and spinach 
and then all your salad fixins. Got any topping you could possibly want. Every vegetable in the world, along with some beans and a couple of meats up there and some cheeses and your hard crusty toppings. And then you have olive oil, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar. And today they have honey mustard, blue cheese, Thousand Island, and the good old ranch. This section is called the grill. And you have some beef gravy, mashed potatoes, minute steak, grilled rockfish, grilled chicken breast, baked potato there in the back, some roasted cauliflower, which I had and it was very good. And then some sauces here that appear to be hollandaise, pineapple sauce, chimichurri, bacon, and tartar sauce. Then we have some meatballs with cheese. I had those too, they were pretty good. Beef with broccoli stew, fried polenta with tomato sauce. I had that too and those were good. Ham. Arancini, I don't know how to say that, arancini, not sure, eggplant parmesan, and chicken casserole. Vegetable stir fry noodles, chicken fried rice, beef in sweet chili sauce, and pita bread, dolmos, and several different kinds of hummus. You have baba ganoush back there in the back, a mahamara containing walnuts, the orange stuff there in the back. This up front is beetroot hummus and then regular hummus, which I had the hummus and the pita bread today and it was very good. The vegetarian and vegan bar has yucca stew, a mushroom stir fry with tofu and sweet chili sauce, lentil and eggplant moussaka, ratatouille, and some vegetable quinoa. We have some naan over here as well. I have substituted it for pita bread before when I couldn't find any. Then you have all your toppings. Okra masala. Dal tomato or dal tomato. Chicken de piazza. Kashmiri paleo. Papadam and plain rice. And mango chutney, raita, and lime pickle. Your deli bar is full of all kinds of cheeses. Package crackers. You have your deli meat right there along with different kinds of bread so you could slap on and make a sandwich if you wanted to. They have some of them labeled multi-grain roll, some French baguette there in the back that's empty, a corn loaf, this says it was <laughs> tomato focaccia and it's gone, sourdough roll, and then some things in the back that we can't see the label for. Your pizzeria and your pasta kitchen all here together. You have meatball marinara sauce, regular marinara sauce, bolognese sauce, and alfredo sauce. I don't see all that right here right now, but it is toward the end of the lunch bar. Then all your fixings if you want them to make you grilled pasta. Lots of vegetable and a little, a few meat options. And then your pizza bar, Sicilian pizza, pepperoni, cheese, and sun-dried tomato pizza right now. And I'll give you JJ's feedback on the pizza. Overall, I think the flavor of the pizza here is better than Sorrento's. So, I give it two thumbs up. Gourmet entrees include pesto risotto, mushroom risotto, pork gravy, mashed potatoes, and green beans. And then on the end here, you have what they call the carvery and today you have pork porchetta with applesauce, chicken parmesan, along with beef lasagna, grilled fish with puttanesca sauce, fried polenta with tomato sauce, which we already saw over there, and that was good. This section is called Build Your Own Sandwich, and it does include various kinds of breads, as well as cheeses and vegetables. along with tuna salad, chicken salad, and egg salad. And those meats there in the back that appear to be maybe pastrami and ham and turkey. Your pastries, cakes, and cookies. We have chocolate cannoli, pistachio cannoli, regular cannoli, mixed berry panna cotta, jello with fruits, almond amaretto cake, amaretto cake, cherry, Hi, and 
They say this is meringue. I guess those little cookies back there are meringue cookies. On the other side of the dessert bar today, we have vanilla bread pudding and vanilla sauce. I'm gonna get me some of that. Wow, I was deciding on bread pudding or ice cream. I mean, the ice cream just looked like regular ice cream, which I'll show you that line in a second. Bread pudding, off the charts, amazing. Fruit options at lunch also that are already cut up and ready to go for you. They also have no sugar added and gluten-free labels on some of the desserts, so you'll be able to see what they are. That is mango, coconut cake, amaretto cake, panna cotta, and jello and chocolate cake. This, my friends, is the ice cream line. They have several options of scoop ice cream as well as chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, or swirl soft serve. I got the strawberry soft serve and it was worth the wait. If you've gotten value from this video so far, smash that like button and subscribe for more pearls of knowledge about cruise and travel. Evening three in the main dining room again involved rotating entrees as well as the classics. For appetizer, several of us had the baby spinach and treviso salad and everyone was pleased. One of our friends had the chilled pear and honey soup and said it was also very good. JJ had a Caesar salad and requested the addition of anchovies. Just a reminder, if you're wanting something a little out of the ordinary, be sure to ask. You never know if they might have it back in the kitchen. Regarding entrees, the classic chicken breast was as good as always, along with the classic broiled salmon. I had the seared duck. I've had duck on other cruises and I was a little disappointed at how fatty this dish was. However, after I got the fat trimmed off, the taste was very good. For dessert, we stuck mainly with the classics. The apple pie a la mode was as good as always. One of our friends tried the phyllo dough tulip and was pleased with the taste and simplicity. For day four, we took advantage of a sale on specialty dining after we got on board. I know, I know, us cruise veterans always tell you to take advantage of pre-cruise prices, and the general rule really is the price is higher on board. I guess this was an exception. Tell us in the comments below if you have experienced lower pricing for specialty dining on board. On Equinox, the gentlemen outside the Ocean View Cafe take specialty dining bookings. They really are not high pressure, and as we proved, it never hurts to ask. We ended up booking Murano's French restaurant for $40 per person as compared to $55 online pre-cruise. Here's the menu for you, but remember you can also see it on your app. We had eaten excellent French cuisine on previous cruises, but honestly, we were not prepared for the quality of food we would experience. Of course, they started us out with several bread options, which were different than what we had seen in the MDR, and those were delicious. Then presented us with what they called a welcome dish, which was a cheese ball croquette in sweet chili sauce. We then started with the appetizers. This is served with the spinach flan, lobster meat, deep fried leek, on the side we have is a little bread which we call it the corn beneath it's made with cheddar cheese and corn and in case if the soup is strong for your palate you could add the cognac cream to balance the flavor so for you JJ is the scallop of Wellington which is scallops which is wrapped up in a puff pastry Wellington style on a bed of spinach sauce with black emulsion dressing besides it. Quite frankly, the cheese croquette in the chili pepper sauce was one of the best items of food I've ever eaten. <laughs> and it was not even on the menu. It's like a welcome item. And the lobster bisque is amazing. Okay, so once again we have the scallops wrapped up in a puff pastry wellington style on a bed of spinach sauce jj for you we have the organic cherry tomatoes comes with buffalo mozzarella cantaloupe thinly sliced green apple arugula leaves with a drizzle of white balsamic vinegar and a black olive turpenade on the side the diver scallops wellington style were even better than the lobster bisque like each course each thing they have set in front of us has gotten better than the last thing and this is a restaurant 
that they prepare the entrees, some of the entrees, at your table. So you all will get a treat of seeing them prepare our lobsters live at our table. Stay tuned. I shall go ahead to prepare your lobster. And to prepare the dish, I will be using is olive oil, butter, shallots, garlic, bacon, tomato, mushroom, parmesan cheese, and chives. That will be to garnish. The best part of the show. The reason we plumbe it is to preserve the flavor. And now I add is the sauce which is made with Dijon mustard, heavy cream and white wine. Beef, it's a loin which is more tender than even a filet Oh, perfect. Yes. Perfect. Wow. Here you go, honey. And now Amazing. Enjoy. And on the count of three, one, two, and... Uh, Voila. We have both determined this is the best specialty dining meal we have ever had, ever. The second best is probably Norwegian French restaurant, which I will link our vlogs for that cruise down below. Uh, it just, well, show my plate, JJ, because this was made up of three small lobster tails, and I ate like one and a half. Plus, you know, some of the vegetables. <laughs> it was, it was, I don't know what better word to say than amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And mine disappeared. Disappeared. That was, without a doubt, the best piece of beef I've ever had in my life. 12 ounces, probably. I'm guessing, yep. Tenderloin? Ten, yep. Chateau Brion. I had to stop or I was gonna make myself sick because I do want a little bit of dessert. I am ready for my nap so I can sleep tonight. We're both stuffed. So we're gonna have to forego the dessert. You we will not be reporting on dessert. You, do it. We just we looked at it, it. And I want one of everything and it ain't happening. We're absolutely stuffed. If it's any consolation that we're not testing the desserts for you and letting you know, I, I completely trust that this would probably be the best desserts we would ever have too. I have no reason to not believe that because every other course was the best that we've ever had. So trust that and you can go back and look at the menus that we've shown you and like, you know, pause the video to see what's on the menu in this amazing restaurant. With our meal at Murano taking the place of the MDR lamb dish as the most amazing cruise meal ever, we thought we would also give Tuscan Grill a chance. The employee outside the buffet booked us for lunch at $35 per person. This specialty lunch dining experience is very casual as t-shirts, shorts, and jeans are acceptable. It suited our last day on board very well. The Tuscan Grill lunch menu is a combination of several of the specialty dining venues on board. We were able to choose dishes from Sushi on Five, Murano, and Tuscan Grill, and experience this wonderful ocean view seating. It's yum yum time with shrimp tempura as an appetizer, and I can't wait to dive in. Me too. I got the same thing. This is phenomenal. The whole the food in the specialty restaurants is just perfect. This is my uh, second attempt. It is a sensory symphony between the wasabi, the ginger, and the sushi tempura roll. It's amazing. Here we go. Second course is a grilled chicken Caesar salad, and they put it down in front of us, me, and this is fresh grated cheese. You can seriously, we could s smell it when they set it down in front of us. Salad was perfect. Uh, the skin on the chicken was a little tough, so I removed that, but the flavor was excellent. Main course is? Filet mignon and baby potatoes. Looks like we got some grilled onions and grilled mushrooms tucked under the filet mignon. Looks marvelous. I'm gonna see if it's medium rare. That's how I asked for it. Perfectly cooked. Now I'm gonna tell you if it's perfect. Lobster rigatoni alfredo. So I see the chunks, literally, chunks of lobster. Mm. That's what that is, mm. right? Lobster rigatoni ravioli, amazing. 
the Alfredo sauce was almost the best I've ever had. It, it, it probably vied for second place. It was amazing. And JJ pointed out what I didn't know to identify is that the rigatoni was prepared al dente. I like it a little softer, but it didn't affect my enjoyment of the dish. It was amazing. The filet here rivals the flavor of my dinner last night, which was Chateaubriand. This is um, kind of roasted, um, medium rare is how I ordered it. it, was perfect. Thumbs up. Dessert. What'd you get? I don't know, but I can tell by looking at it, I'm gonna like it. It's a dark chocolate. Can't remember. They can look back at the menu Probably and see what it's actually this, called. This is more for a spoon. Oh yeah. Yes, it actually is a mousse. He said that mm. when I asked if it was dark or milk chocolate, he said it was dark and it's a mousse. And it's top, amazing. Top notch. Gingerbread and ice cream. Let's see, let me just taste the bread first of all. And the sauce around the outside is like a lemon. Very interesting, very strong ginger taste. I mean, I know it's gingerbread, but you know, American gingerbread is like lots of lots of sugar and cream and flour and a little bit of ginger. It's very good. On our last evening in the MDR, our group tried two new dishes from the menu, the penne primavera and the short ribs. High praises were voiced for both dishes. For dessert, I tried the cream brulee for the first time on this cruise. It was excellent. If you've never been on a cruise or maybe just missed this in the MDR, most cruise lines do one evening of celebration for the crew. This last evening was our night. Remember, your food service crew work long hours and you do have the option of tipping extra above your prepaid gratuities if you feel it's warranted. This is the dinner on day five in the Ocean View Cafe, the buffet, the Mexican buffet. Looks good tonight. Chila, chilaquiles, chilaquiles, nachos with chili con carne, refried beans there in the back, and cheese sauce, and all your fixings with cheese, sour cream, jalapenos in the back, tomatoes, green peppers, and onions. This is your Caesar salad station, and it looks lovely. You've got all your toppings. You can see those, all your toppings with your dressings, and they will evidently mix it up for you. And then over here you have artichokes and hummus, regular hummus right there, and then beetroot hummus, olives in the back. Up front here, baba ganoush, dolmas there in the back, feta cheese, and mahamara. Mahamara, am I pronouncing that right? And then a beautiful pita bread. Here you have your pasta kitchen and your pizzeria. They will make you up whatever pasta it is that you want. Here they have the meatball marinara sauce, regular marinara sauce, alfredo sauce, and bolognese sauce. And there's a beautiful garlic knots bread. They then have any toppings here. And there's all the different kinds of pasta you can get back there, as well as these vegetable toppings for you. Wow. And this is marked gluten-free pizza, available upon request. So remember if that's what you need to ask them for it. Tonight they have Sicilian pizza, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, and margarita pizza. JJ had some earlier in the week and said, he had pepperoni actually, and said it was wonderful. Gourmet entrees tonight include grilled fish with citrus sabayon, roasted garlic potatoes, broccoli of course, turkey stuffing, beef gravy, carrots there in the back, and mashed potatoes. And as always, they have the carvery. And tonight, it is roasted turkey with cranberry sauce. And on this side of the gourmet entrees table, they have roasted paprika chicken, pork and bean stew, Mexican beef and rice chili, vegetable lasagna, and beef and broccoli. This section is called the Kids' Corner. But I've seen a lot of adults dig in spaghetti with marinara sauce, meatballs with alfredo sauce, 
mac and cheese, of course, chicken nuggets, creamy corn, and cheese sandwich. Other side of the kids' corner, but to me, it just looks like the burger and fries section. We have cheese pizza, french fries, cheeseburger, hamburger, hot dogs, and then all your fixings with the cheese and the pickles and the lettuce and the onions and the tomato. And last but not least, I guess this is where you would start, your hot dog and your hamburger buns. Your salad bar is full of good things tonight. Potato salad, eggplant with sausage, into pasta salad, chicken jicama melon salad. Tonight they have an Asian delight section that includes stir fry. So you just step right up and tell them what it is that you want and they will put all the fixings you want inside a stir fry. This section is called the grill. They have chicken gravy, mashed potatoes, pork chops, grilled chicken breast, grilled fish trout, baked potato in the back there, and this looks like some squash and zucchini, and then the toppings, hollandaise, pineapple sauce, chimichurri, bacon, and tartar sauce. And then over here, these are your Indian specialties, fish curry, dal fry, mixed vegetable curry, and then your naan, your plain rice, and your mango chutney. I guess you could call this a bread and deli or a make your own sandwich section. Down here they have your sourdough ro rolls and your black olive rolls, along with some several different kinds of bread there, and butter and crackers. And then we start the pepper jack cheese, the smoked gouda cheese, and the cheddar cheese. And then here are your meats, black forest ham, regular ham, and mortadella ham. Pastries, cakes, and cookies, looking good tonight. As you can see, they have it clearly marked gluten-free and no sugar added. Under the gluten-free section, they have coconut cake, raspberry cake, jello with fruits. Under the no sugar added, they have strawberry shortcake and peach shortcake. And then under the regulars, they have mango cake, chocolate cake, and coffee cake, and mixed berries cake. Of course, as always, they have your cut up fresh fruits for you too. And if you're still trying to decide what cruise gear to take on your next Caribbean cruise, check out this video right here for some great cruise gear ideas. Thanks and be blessed.